Hey everyone and welcome to another video Today we're going to talk about something that I was waiting for a long time I mean, others, other manufacturers of peripherals uh, have already done it And Logitech finally went XL What I'm talking about? Well, stay tuned and you'll see No, just kidding I'm going to tell you right away and it's going to be a mouse pad mouse mat and it's finally extra large and it can cover normally your keyboard and your mouse and why am i so excited about this well it looks slick it looks much better when you have the whole table and if you're following me on instagram you notice probably that i always comment on setups uh, that people send me to featured on my uh, instagram profile that i always comment that i really like the extra large mouse pads because it looks cleaner it covers the whole area and then you don't have like those breaks between the mouse and the keyboard now here is the box and yeah it looks really cool just out of the box uh, well with the box the box looks great uh, but that's not the point uh, these specifications uh, the height of the mouse mat is mouse pad or what's it called let me see uh, mouse pad sorry it's 400 millimeters the white uh, is 900 millimeters and the thickness is three millimeters so it's a bit thicker than my uh, for instance g240 uh, mouse pad but okay probably people get used to it but let's open and see what we got inside we have we don't have only the mouse mat of course which is really huge now nothing in here you have the I don't know is it instruction manual or something uh, there's no need for instruction manual this is probably uh, usage and that kind of stuff but let's see this is really huge and it's completely black with logo here of the logitech g now the behind uh, the back side of the mouse mat is uh, normal blue uh, rubber which sticks to your table quite nicely and when you game you don't get any problems with keyboard moving with the mouse mat or mouse going uh, crazy if you don't move it by your hand uh, that is really cool so let's let me place it in my setup and let's see how it looks when you have the keyboard and mouse all together with finally extra large logitech uh, mouse pad now it does need a bit of a time to uh, get loosened because it was you seen the uh, the box that it's packed but as you can see it looks really nice it uh, really uh, gives a special uh, well looks to the whole setup now let me uh, go back a bit so you can see how it looks nice now you can see that I have the 10 less keyboard uh, from Logitech of course uh, that well it looks pretty small compared to the big mouse mat but if you're thinking and if you have a normal keyboard with numer numerical keypad then it kind of looks like a normal dimension so about the material now as I said the bottom part has a blue rubber to keep the mouse and the keyboard steady while gaming so it doesn't move around which is really cool and i know most of the manufacturers do it like that but i have to mention it now the top material is some sort of a fabric that uh, logitech uh, explains it kind of gives you a better feel of the movement so every at even at the high speed mouse doesn't uh, lose uh, the tracking or anything like that the accuracy is much well it's better uh, with without the you know using it on the table or some definitely cheap uh, mouse mats pads 
and I didn't mention the name in the whole video I didn't say how what's it called so this is the Logitech G840 mouse pad extra large uh, one more thing this as you as you saw a couple of seconds or minutes ago uh, it's really large and it really covers a big surface now that's almost a meter 900 millimeters that's really close you have 10 millimeters of free space but uh, if you have a small table this isn't for you you should probably get a smaller logitech uh, mouse pad that uh, is the same material the same grip uh, beneath the surface that you're using but for you guys who have a larger desk like i do for instance this is something to well improve your gaming for accuracy of the mouse and definitely to boost the looks one thing i do have to say it looks pretty plain i would definitely use this kind of bluish color that Logitech usually has on their uh, boxes and on their peripherals well not on peripherals but on some stuff that kind of well Logitech logo is kind of bluish like this I would put definitely one line here or on the top or on two on the sides or whatever just to give it a more personality and just so it looks more attractive even though I like personally this as it is maybe or just maybe special touch would be really cool if they placed a G logo like this with white instead of black gloss or something like that that's the color so guys thank you for watching this was the video and well I did it separately just because I'm really excited about this thing and why wouldn't I be since the Logitech is my uh, current brand that I have and that I use personally uh, this was a really exciting news that Logitech placed this on market and really cool to do well a short unboxing review and to give you guys some heads up about this thing so guys thank you for watching uh, stay tuned more videos coming soon of course if you like it thumbs up as always and well bye bye see you next time